Welcome to you ARC. We are here to pass on the knowledge that we have. Thank you for taking time out and being here today. Today we have come up with part A syllabus dealing with spatial intelligence which is one of the important topics among other topics like visual principles, color theory and cognitive ability. This video is completely our version of decoding this particular topic in part A and we have tried to come up with the problems that comes under this topic. We have decoded the problems under this topic in a step-by-step -step manner and hope this will help you and please watch till the end. Remember to subscribe our channel. So let's get into the video now we were talking about spatial intelligence. So we have derived five main topics under spatial intelligence. It is completely our version. So first is visualization of objects. Second, visualize images and scenarios. Third, geometrical persons. Fourth is graphical similarities. And fifth is spatial relationship between objects. So now let's see what is this visualization of objects. Let's see what is visualization of objects first. It is manipulation of objects from stationary point of view or from different angles. We have two categories under visualization of object from where the questions can be derived. First is object rotation, second is object transformation. Let's see what is object rotation. It is the entire object is mentally rotated by turning it in 3D space. So here we have 2D or 3D object to be rotated and we also have uh, individual object rotation or group object rotation. Let's see the individual object rotation with few examples. So first question they are asking us to find which of the shape on the right is a rotator version of exact shape on the left. They are asking us to find the rotated version of the question figure. So this is first type of question under object rotation. Let's move on to the next object rotation question. Here a condition will be given if one particular object is rotated to one particular direction. What happens to the question figure? For example, let's start. So this particular object is rotated to that particular direction. This is the condition. So, we have to apply the same condition to the question figure. So, question figure matches with the condition number 1. So, we have to see if this object is rotated to that direction. So, let's see the options, okay? So, B option is not that same direction. C, no. D, yeah, no. D is same direction and it's matching with the condition. The answer is D. This is second type of question that can be asked in object rotation. Now we have seen 3D object rotations. Let's move to 2D individual object rotations. So moving on to the next question. It is we have to find the rotated version of the question figure. So let's see by rotating because all the options are looking similar. So Let's rotate in first direction. No, none of the options are matching. But we can see the similarity with option 3. But it is not the same. So let's move to the next orientation. Yeah, it's matching with option 4. So option 4 is the answer. So let's try rotating other shape, other orientation also. So this is not matching. So this is somewhat matching with 1 but it is different. The line is different. So here what we could see is the option 4 is the right answer. So this is all about individual object rotation in 2D and 3D. Now let's move to group rotation. Let's see few examples of group rotation here. The first question is which of the answer figures is the rotation of the question figure. So here we have to check out the question figure again. Okay? So we have four different shapes in the question figure. 
so we have to remember these four different shapes and its location in relation to the other shapes for example if you take an arrow mark you should remember that the bottom of the arrow mark we have a unshaded unshaded square so let's see the options and check whether we have this uh, particular hint in the answer figures so option a on the bottom of the arrow mark we don't have an un unshaded square right so the option a is a wrong answer even option b and option d doesn't have this only option c have this what we are telling so it is the exact same uh, rotated figure of the question figure so let's see the question number two which of the answer figures is a rotation of the question figure let's try this as a practice question guys so i'll give you some time and you can guess the answer now okay the answer is c again so let's move to the next topic let's talk about object transformation it is mentally moving viewpoint while object remains fixed we have two categories here mirror image and water image under which the questions can be arrived now let's talk about mirror image it is one of the important topic and it also comes under non-verbal reasoning when the mirror is placed right side or left side of the image then the top and bottom part of the image remain same while left and right side of the image will be interchanged in the mirror image so the reflection of the image looks like this in the example one we could see the man holding his basketball in his left hand while his mirror image shows him he is holding that in his right hand so let's see the next example also we could see the person is lifting his right hand but the mirror image uh, showing that he is lifting his left hand so his top and bottom portion remaining same whereas his left and right portion is getting interchanged so we have three types of questions that can be asked in mirror image one is letter based letter based question second is shape based question third is clock based mirror image question so now let's see an example for shape based question which of the given shape is a right mirror image of the other so here we could see the mirror is placed on the right side of the image so what we can see is the top and bottom portion is not going to change the left and right portion is going to get interchanged so let's see how the answer is formed. So here the answer is A and let's see the process. So first image on the left is going to the right side of the image. So next is moving apart. Then this. And that. So we could see the shapes which are on the left side of the box in the question figure had moved to the right side of the box in the question figure. This is how the mirror image question worked out. So I have another trick for you guys. So that can be made with paper that you can make with the rough paper you get while solving the questions in the exam. So let's see the trick now. Okay guys, let's start finding the mirror image of Mumbai with a paper trick, okay? So, they are saying in the question that if the mirror is placed this direction, what will be the mirror image of this Mumbai? So, what we have to do is hold the mirror portion and turn the paper that side. So now we have the mirror image of Mumbai when the mirror is placed on that direction. So this is the mirror image that we get. Next we will try out with different direction of mirror. What if suppose the mirror comes this direction in this direction. So we have to hold the mirror and turn the paper to that side. 
so that is the mirror image of that so let's see another example with the clock so see here the time is 3:15 now what is the mirror image of this clock if the mirror is placed this direction hold the mirror and turn the paper so now we can see the mirror image of the clock so the time is 8:45 in the mirror so let's consider if the mirror is placed here so what will happen we have to hold the mirror position and then turn the paper okay so this is how we find the mirror image okay guys let's see about the water image so water image is just a reflection where top and bottom part of the images are changed where left and right side of the image remain same so let's discuss this with an example here so in the image one we could see the birds are on the left side of the image and are on the top of the image so in water image we could see the same birds on the bottom part of the image while they remain on the left of left part of the image let's understand this with another example so here we have three types of question first is letter based question second is shape based question third is clock mirror image or sorry clock water image based question so what happens here is mostly the letter based and shape based questions are asked for exams so let's try one example for word based question choose the alternative which resembles the water image of the given combination so for the word nuclear we have to identify the water image so what we could remember here is there is no left or right change only top and bottom has changed so here the right answer is 4 yeah so let's try the practice sum below which is gr 98 ap 76 es so i'll give you some time and let's see whether you are getting it right the right answer is 3 so i hope you guys understood but still we have some tricks for this as well let's check the trick okay guys let's see the trick for water image so we have to find water image of this particular figure so what we have to do is keep your three fingers on top of the paper and your thumb at the back of the paper so now you have to twist the paper like this where your thumb comes on the top of the paper so now we can see the water image of that particular figure here let's see the next example with this okay so we are going to find the water image of this particular word so same trick applies here three fingers on top and the thumb at the back so this is the water image of that word so let's find something okay now let's see the water image of the word bridge same technique thumb on the back and twist it so this is the water image of that particular word so let's see a figure here okay so let's see it here same technique applies this is the water image of the particular diagram so let's even try with the time same time let's consider this one let's see the water image of this particular clock just hold this so so this is the water image of the clock guys here let's try out both water and mirror image for this particular word so what we are going to see now is water image of mumbai first so the trick is keep three finger on the top of the paper and thumb at the back and twist it so this particular 
figure gives you the water image of Mumbai. So let's now see mirror image. So let's consider mirror on this direction. What we have to hold is the mirror and then flip the paper this way. So this is Mumbai. So mirror image of the Mumbai we got. So let's try what happens if the mirror is placed on the top. Hold the mirror and flip the paper that way. This is the mirror image. If the mirror is on top. What if the mirror is on bottom? Same, same. We have to follow the same. F hold the mirror. Flip the paper. It will be same, right? So, this is how we find mirror and water image with this easy trick. Guys, check out our part B video of spatial intelligence where we will be dealing with visualized images and scenarios. So, please subscribe and get connected with us. Meet you in next video. Bye.